Political analyst Stephen Caliendo joins us again this morning. Thanks again for being good here. Good morning, good morning. So let's talk a little bit about Iowa. We know it's significant because it is the first That's state right. where we hear what people say, right. um, but not necessarily representative of the demographics of the country as far as race or religion goes. That's true. That's true. I mean, it's more rural for sure. It doesn't have the big urban centers that some of the states that are going to matter a lot in the uh, general election um, have. Um, it's whiter. 97% uh, white turnout on the Republican side, 91% white turnout on the Democratic side last night. Uh, CBSnews.com has all the exit polls. People can go and look there. But the other thing is that it's a caucus, and that means that um, people have to go and spend a couple of hours in the evening with their neighbors and very publicly sort of acknowledge uh, for whom they're voting, particularly on the Democratic side where they vote with their bodies. It's not a secret ballot. Um, it's going to be a little bit different when people are pulling levers uh, behind, uh, behind the curtain. And, and research also shows that more ideological extremists tend to come to caucuses as opposed to show up in primaries. And it's pretty interesting to see that a lot of times a person who wins a caucus is not even the person who gets a nomination. That's correct. And, and uh, especially on the Democratic side, what they were doing last night was selecting delegates from those precinct caucuses to attend county-level caucuses a couple of weeks later. And then there will be another process to select people to the state convention. And that's what ultimately gets the delegates to the national convention. And so it's a long process. We don't have time to talk a lot about it on the news, so we just look at that <laughs> results and we sort of say, here's who won. <laughs> but it's actually more complicated Very than involved. that. Right. And New Hampshire's next, so we'll see what happens. New Hampshire's next. It could be different because it's a primary, and, of course, it's uh, close home to Bernie Sanders' home state. Right, yeah. Okay, right. Professor Caliendo, thank you. Good to see you.